Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is episode 59. And today I'm going to talk continue talking about the colonial America. Um the mister and by using hundreds of change the world by using hundreds of tiny movable mental metal blocks with a single letter carved on each he could assemble a page of letters in a frame and print copies of that page in 1456 mr gunterberg printed his first book the bible because mr gunterberg movable type printing press produced less expensive Bibles, more people were able to purchase the Bible and reach and study God's word for themselves. Jonathan Gutenberg's invention also made the skill of reading and writing available to the common person. Since printed books were less expensive and than hand-lettered manuscripts, more people were able to buy books and learn to read. As more books became available, education expanded. Not all the developments and discovery, discoveries of the Renaissance were positive. It was during this time period that some scol scholars began to place much importance upon reason. They taught that a person should rely primarily on his reasoning ability to find answers to life's question. Because people begin to rely on reason rather on scripture. Their moral values were weakened and were reasoning ability to find the answers to life's questions. Because people begin to rely on reason rather than on questions. Pe Roman, in studying Greek and Roman knowledge, which continued, contained no biblical wisdom. Some began to believe this new knowledge was greater than God's commandments. And they adopted the lifestyles and attitudes of unbelieving Greeks and Romans. Their actions illustrate the Bible truth, professing themselves to be wise. They became fools, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and served the Creator more than the Creator. Romans chapter 1, verse 22 and 25. This thinking affected the Roman Catholic Church, and some Roman Catholic leaders openly approved wasteful and morally impure lifestyles. The moral weakness of the Renaissance provided a fertile, fertile ground for the Reformation. Now, let's talk about the Reformation. During the 150s, Certain Christian leaders attempt to restore a biblical lifestyle and to stress in eternal principles. These men, called reformers, were sincere Christians who had grown unhappy with many Roman Catholic teaching and practices. The reformers wanted to re reform Roman Catholicism and reform within by retaining establishing the Bible as the only authority for religious teaching and, and practice. The reformer believed the focus of the gospel must be salvation by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, and they stress, stressed this doctrine above all others. Of the, of many, of the many reformers, two were important to development of North American culture, Martin Luther and John Calvin. On a warm spring afternoon in 1506, Martin Luther sat in the garden of the Erfurt Monastery. He was soon joined by Brother Philip. Brother, Mar Mar Brother Martin, the older man, began, It has been many months since you entered the monastery. I know you studied law at Erfurt, before you came into a monastery, why did you decide to become a monk? And it will, and why we will tell you about in the next episode. And yes, and this is the story starting the Reformation.